Next thing to do is rip a piece of plywood and laminate two pieces together similar to this. Put a 12 degree bevel on the back and that's going to sit on this transom like this, get glued and screwed and that's going to provide a place for these corner seats to sit on and stiffen the whole transom. Here's the piece I just ripped, measured just under three inches. It's going to be the top piece. I want the this bottom one, as you can see, because I have this 12 degree. It's just going to be slightly smaller on the width. Mm, about an eighth smaller. Gonna rip this piece now. Put some drywall screws in this just that way I can line it up. When I glue them together, just clamp it. Anytime I use anything but stainless in the boat, I always take them out afterwards. Only temporary. All right, see that has a little bit extra on this. I'll just flush that off with that same route a bit. Now it's perfect. Okay, I have this up on my 12 inch mark that I measured off the height here. Just going to scribe the underside of this. That bevel is going to this flat part of the transom. I'm going to cut that on the miter saw. Just fitted this on, cut one side, marked it, cut the other side. Okay, I'm going to drill some holes to attach this piece from the back side of this. So I'm going to drill in. Right about there, three eighths down. Okay, I'm going to attach this piece on uh, the 
best way I know how to do this is screw it from the back side of the sheet. So I just laid out a series of holes, a mox, they're gonna be holes. Right up at my 12 inch mark that's measured off this bottom. These screws are stainless deck screws, inch and five eighths. It's only temporary. I still want to put glue under that, under that, but I like to attach all pieces before you have glue on it because it just makes everything so much simpler. That glue gets all over your bits and it's just too many things at once. So now all the holes are lined up when it's time to do the final attachment. I put a round over bit in the router and I hit these edges on this stiffener. Um, I'm going to be doing this top of the transom, but I'm going to wait until after it's glued and sanded. So that is the next step to glue all this together. Well, I just mixed up 15 pumps of each. I'm going to roll this out. Just mixed up 20 pumps of each. We'll see how this part takes me. 20 pumps. That's about up to here in this cup. There's different uh, hardeners for different temperatures too shop right now is about 68 or so uh, trying to keep it warm because this glue likes to set up in um, warmer temperatures boxy when it comes to uh, mixing larger amounts I won't be using the pumps, I would just pour it in measured. 
amounts, two to one. But uh, the pumps work nice and accurate. But they're slow going. It's faster to pour. mix up more than you can place somewhere because it is expensive and you don't want to waste it. a lot of clamps there. I could have used drywall screws or something like that also. You don't need all those clamps. You just back the screws out and fill them with uh, thickened epoxy later on. But the transom is done. <laughs> 